either. Well, some of them are, are indicated to be in the list. Okay. But <coughs> wrestling kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, allowed to say it. But all the hyaluronic acid fillers are dissolvable. Some mm -hmm. just take a little bit more work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, the lip filler. A lot of girls think that if they get one syringe of lip filler, it's going to have them walking out with like a You're not. Mm -hmm. You're right. not. I'm here to tell you. You guys... I, there's like this um, thing that was going on on Instagram that like shows you like it's what what is it like a teaspoon? It's a fifth of a teaspoon. A fifth of a teaspoon. It's like, like it's so it's inches. so small. Yeah. Now here's the thing, Sorel. I so I mean I kind of told you guys about how I got my <clears throat> my lip filler like dissolved, right? Sorel redid my lips. I did two syringes, right? That is like a that's a lot. In that's a lot for. I mean, because basically we were just trying to like, it's a long story, but I could, I could handle what Sorrel gave me, mm -hmm. like, um, because of what we were trying to accomplish. Long story short, like you're looking at your front profile, you're looking at your, I mean, I guess you don't have a front profile. You're looking at the side of your face, you know, you're looking at the front of your face, like whatever. Um, <clears throat> but you're not going to walk out from one syringe looking like Kylie Jenner and her not what not good lip days like you're not gonna look like that you need to like and I'm talking about like when she you know when they were doing the stupid shot class thing you're not gonna look ridiculous um continue yeah I mean so we did two syringes in your lips and that's highly uncommon for me at least I don't mm -hmm. usually do that but you have features that can support that mm -hmm. and after we had done the, the one we both agreed together right like that I have a cupid's bow right that means second. something um you have a beautiful cupid's bow but, but that... no just your lip shape and the natural volume of your lips the width of your mm -hmm. mouth all of those things are taken into consideration when we're making decisions about how to proceed so and your face in general like you could carry a, a mm -hmm. larger fuller without lip. looking like a blowfish exactly mm -hmm. So, and then I, isn't it like, I, and this is just me asking questions because I don't know, isn't it with, if you have a Cupid's bow, like I have a pretty sharp one, right? So I could probably handle a little bit more filler than maybe somebody who does not have a Cupid's bow like that, that their lip would just start to kind of look like two like hot dogs sitting on top of each other, right? Is that like Yeah, that? I mean, we can enhance the Cupid's bow with filler. Mm -hmm. um, so we can essentially give you one, even mm -hmm. if you don't have one. But yes, if you have a natural structure to your lip, then it it's makes easier. things a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, who the frick is messaging me right now? It's probably one of the boys. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Um, I'm not trying to get myself in trouble. Um, all right. Uh, I, mean, I, I just a lot go misconceptions ahead. a lot when I'm just doing consults. They'll talk about like their nasal labial lines, the ones that mm -hmm. go between the um, nostril and the mm -hmm. side of the mouth. They're like other lines, and I'll say like, have you thought about doing? Botox or injections like filler before and they're like, no, I just don't want to look fake and I and I, That's I'd say is probably the biggest misconception that I hear mm -hmm. And so that I just try to get them to do a consultation first because I think because of what we've seen on Instagram mm -hmm. And everywhere else like you got to do a lot to your face honey to get to that point like mm -hmm. it didn't do it wasn't just one session and there's probably some face tune involved, but you have to have a whole lot done to get there and a whole lot of coin to get there. And probably, you know, someone who's not as talented as well. Like, it's about the technique and the product for sure. And Well, and I think, too, that a lot of these girls go in and they're like, you know, I want to look like this. I want, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, you're going to look like you have filler face if you're trying to go look like girls who have mm -hmm. filler face, you know. And, like, I think that you should go in and be like, hey, this is this is my facial structure, what would you recommend, you mm -hmm. know? Because sometimes I get scared that I'll have filler face or something like that, but I know that Sorrel would never let me walk around like that. <laughs> yeah. She would never do that mm -hmm. to me. Um, but, I mean, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. When girls want to get their jaw done, and they're like, I think I just need one syringe. Explain to them that that's not how that works. Yeah, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. <laughs> like, you do it with three, right? So, a minimum of a three. A minimum of three. Yes, jaw lines take anywhere from three to about eight syringes. Mm -hmm. And they're usually done in sessions, so you're not going to, you know, come in with nothing. Mm -hmm. And then you leave out with a razor-sharp jaw line, that's not how that works. Now, do you think that these girls shouldn't be doing the razor-sharp jaw line? Because, you know, like, the Instagram, like... What do you think about that? I think that there's, I think find yourself a good injector. Mm -hmm. That's just the bottom line. Like there's a fine line. There are some women that very they can uh, carry strong, it. like an Angelina Jolie, mm -hmm. right? Has an extremely strong jawline that would be very masculinizing on other faces, but it works for her. See, like but, I feel like I could do a really strong jawline because I kind of already have like a strong jawline. Yeah, strong cheekbones. 
wink, 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 you know. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, if you have a really, really round face, I feel like, or a very feminine round face, and you go in and say, I want a super sharp jawline, I feel like that's not going to add up. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's all about, like, proportions. And so back to your original mm -hmm. question about, like, you know, misconceptions is that one is that's huge. I think everybody mm -hmm. here can agree. Folks spend hours and hours scrolling Instagram and they come in and they think that they're experts because they've looked at all of these and things not. and don't realize that they actually need a consultation for themselves. It's right? like so it's like going to get your hair done and you have dark hair and you're like, well, this girl went, you know, to platinum blonde in one day. So let me do it. How often? How did that work out for you, Kimberly? <laughs> not so well, huh? Right. So don't don't look at Instagram. Sorry, Kimberly. I probably should use a different name every time. I know who's Kimberly. I just make these up. I just make them up. I don't even know if I know a Kimberly. Yeah, I don't know. One time I said I didn't like Libras. Oh, you should have seen the backlash I got from that. Um, but uh, yeah. So. But yeah, like come in open. Yeah, come in open minded. Consultation exactly because. To speak to uh, Jessica's point earlier, a lot of times women will come in about the nasolabial fold. And not realize you can lift things in other places. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And not that's not always where your eye goes is not always where the fix is. Yeah. We exactly. train, we mm -hmm. train, we train. We spend hours and years and thousands of dollars every year to perfect this craft. Yeah. Come in and trust our opinion, please. Yeah. Yes. Like, or, um... Like that, that's, I mean, that, that's the thing too. And we all have different face shapes, right? So things on me that are going to age quicker than somebody else, like for me, and I was, I was asking somebody the other day, I was like, yo, is it weird that I'm 28 and I don't have any fine lines next to my eyes yet? Like, I feel like that's weird, but I think it might just be how my face is shaped. I'm going to carry lines somewhere else, AKA my forehead butt crack right here, you know, from making that angry face. I literally call it that my forehead butt crack right here. And I literally had that, but guys, let me tell you this. I was in the air force and I had this line between my eyes. Okay. From making an angry face all the fucking time. I have very strong facial muscles. Thanks dad. Um, yeah. And it was stuck and I was using all these different serums and I was like, why can't I get this line out? Guess what? Botox pop that baby right out. Botox is preventative. Okay. I feel like girls are scared of Botox or you think like, first of all, fuck the stigma, okay? If you want to feel better about yourself, and it's it's preventative. There's mm -hmm. nothing, I don't think there's anything, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, I don't think there's anything like conceited or what's the word I'm looking for? Vain. There's nothing vain about wanting to age gracefully. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything vain about that. I think it makes you feel better about yourself. And if you feel better about yourself, you're more confident. That carries over to other places in your life. Botox is something that is preventative and I feel like a lot of girls don't realize that like so and you can look natural with tox too yeah exactly you don't have to be like stuck I have friends who are like I don't want to move my face at all and I'm like okay that's fine that's, like, that's, that's how you choice. feel and that's how you feel <laughs> but um so what age would you guys say is good to start Botox I don't know if it's an age I don't really? have an age my perspective is when you start to see things that bother you when you see that's when you come in when you see things that are getting stuck that's my opinion when you're like huh I made that face and that wrinkle's still there maybe it's not for both or not even, like if you just start seeing expression lines mm -hmm. like no I started in I started getting filler probably when I was like 23 mm -hmm. and I started getting talks probably like after I was 25 I didn't even really need it they just suggested I started doing it preventatively and I was like yeah that makes sense I mm -hmm. like tanned my life away yeah <laughs> but and I mean I mean we're talking about the, the it's so it's I think it's so beneficial for things like you know your forehead lines and I mean, you can get it for your crow's feet too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, like I don't see, I don't get it there because that's not a problem area for me. But you know, those little lines, those fine lines next to your eyes and stuff like that, girls. Botox. You know, I think it's Botox funny. works every time. It does. Not but boys. Botox. Way more than you even think it could too. Yeah. Like, and that's a gummy smile. You'll spend tons of money. Mm -hmm. Women will spend tons of money on hair extensions, mm -hmm. on makeup crazy, right? But yeah. like three hundred dollars on Botox goes so far in yeah. terms of like and, how you look. And here's the thing, all these for so for example, because we talked about skincare on the last episode, right? Botox is amazing because instead of spending all this money I mean I still spend money on my skincare, mm -hmm. but now I'm not spending excess money on other things trying to like you know like gimmicky stuff yeah, yeah gimmicky stuff like to get rid of these deep wrinkles or this mm -hmm. this or that or you know whatever yeah. because guess what that money goes towards botox because it's preventative so i'm just using skincare that i actually need now that's for anti-aging and things like that not oh deep wrinkle whatever and like mm -hmm. this is gonna puff your wrinkles out no it's not I mean, maybe if you get the really expensive stuff, but at the same time, I just don't, it's just not going to do the same thing as Botox. It's not. 
Take um, hand in hand. can work with the Botox. Yeah. Let's see, I'm thinking... Your skincare can help Botox yeah. And your longer. boyfriend doesn't need to know about it. Yeah, they fuck they, him. They actually, like, they, they really don't, don't, don't want to know. Like, they don't. They don't. And, and here's my thing. If it's your money, baby, if it's your money, know. baby, that's not their business. And I'm going to give yeah. you, I'm going to give you the solid excuse that you need, okay? And I'm actually really putting myself out right now, so you're welcome. My excuse, every time I've ever gotten filler, all right, if I've ever told you that I had an allergic reaction to wasabi, no, I didn't. I got filler. <laughs> I have said that so many times. So like, oh, your face is a little puffy. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I, I ate some wasabi. Want to know why I picked wasabi? Because I fucking hate it, and I would never eat it. Yeah, so yeah. it matches up. Because you, would, you would never see me. You're not going to catch me in the lot. I, I mean, I've outed it's myself good. now, but I did that for you guys because I fucking love you, all right? And I'm constantly taking the L on here, giving you guys my fucking advice. I just gave you the perfect excuse. You had an allergic reaction. You had an allergic reaction. Yeah. Anybody ask? Oh, you're puppy. Oh, what? Or I've been like, I accidentally hit my yeah. mouth on something. Me? I don't, I allergic agree. reaction? I mean, come on. What do you look like when you have an allergic reaction? You're puppy as hell. Yeah. You're going to go get filler. You might swell a little bit. That's normal. Whatever, right? But now we got face masks. Yeah, exactly. But when I was in community college, I went and got my lips done one time. And I mean, this is before I started going to the place I went in Baltimore. But I would swell really bad. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of what he was putting in my lips that I would swell so bad. Especially one time he put wrestling in my lips. And I swelled a lot. And I was like, I cannot go to school like this. I looked ridiculous. And literally somebody in my class called me. And I was like, I can't come to school today. I have an allergic reaction. Or if I did go to school, I'd be like, yeah, I had an allergic reaction of wasabi. And then one time this freaking Asian guy, he was like, he was like, well, was it real wasabi or fake wasabi? And I was like... <laughs> I don't know. Real wasabi. And he was like, that's so weird. Where'd you find it? And I was just like, stop Why fucking talking to me. <laughs> stop talking to me. I've got another pro tip. Slash uh -huh. plug. So at Ovni, our business model is a membership. So mm -hmm. you come in for a monthly facial. I do it. So there are some people who will, when they come in for their monthly facial, they buy themselves gift cards or put like credit on their account. So they'll put like 50 bucks down each time they get their facial or a hundred bucks down each time they get their facial. And then once they accrue like a few hundred for their filler or for their Botox, mm -hmm. it's already on their account. It's like, it's like a savings plan. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Listen, and I just got to the point, I used to like want to hide it, right? I used to like, like my ex, like he'd be like, eh, when you're going to go put stuff in your face. I'm like, first of all, um, I don't believe that you haven't taken steroids. All right. And here, I'm going to point that out real quick, especially yeah. all these buff dudes that I've dated. Like, stop doing that to your face, Mariah. All right, as soon as you go completely all natural, all right, and you stop doing steroids, you can tell me what to put in my face. Look, I'm getting angry right now. It's gonna, it's gonna affect my Botox. Stop telling girls what they can and can't do with their body. Oh, it will, I, you're fake and you're this and you're that. All right, bro, do you really want to go here with me? Do you, I don't even know what that means. Take your hat off, man. Take your hat off. You want to talk to me about my face? I want to see your receding hairline. Like, like, mm -hmm. like, look, let's, let's go there. Like, um, so there's that. Let's get talk about, testosterone yeah, yeah. Get off all your testosterone supplements and you know, all that other crap. Um, let's talk about Fox eyes mm. or what other beauty trends are there? What are like Russian lips? I've seen something about Russian lips. I don't really know how they're doing it, but I know you had said something to me about it. And then Fox eyes. I personally think Fox eyes looks ridiculous. And I've also heard from my other injector that he was like, um, or what a lip flip. So mm -hmm. tell me, tell me about some of these beauty fads that these girls are going and doing, and what you think guys think about them. Yeah, so fox eyes are where um, a thread mm -hmm. uh, that's made of essentially the same material as like a dissolvable suture is uh, implanted under the skin in the forehead to lift mm -hmm. the tail of the eyebrow. Um, it's come from Bella Hadid. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I guess that she's the one that started the trend, and so it's like a big thing and. To be very honest with you, I think it's pretty much a waste of time. Personally, don't care for the trend, mm -hmm. but I also don't think it lasts. Mm -hmm. So if you ever pay attention, like Instagram, people post them all the time, you always see them with the thread still in place, mm -hmm. or you see them immediately following the treatment. Mm -hmm. You don't see anyone posting fox eyes a month later mm -hmm. because they don't last, they don't stay up. So and Bella kind of Hadid has the money to go do that all the time if she really wanted to. But I don't really know that she's doing that. that. I feel like she got a brow lift. Yeah, and she also with like her microblading, I think, is yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. Like she's things. she's done a couple different things to her face, and yeah. she says she doesn't. Oh she's, no, she's, uh, she's, 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 she's definitely lying. We, we can all Yeah, she's definitely lying. Um, what about Russian lips? I heard that that was causing a lot of like filler migration. 
Um, so the Russian lip technique is, I'm not sure that there's, I think the jury's out on whether the technique itself is causing migration. Mm -hmm. um, we're really trying to figure out like the right things to do to mm -hmm. prevent migration. There's specific techniques that have led to more, but it's not the Russian, Russian technique uh, mm -hmm. specifically. Um, but oh, so it's a technique. It's not like a style. It's an injection technique, okay. not a lip style. Okay, okay, exactly. Okay. So we're, you know, I think, but I think the community is still mm -hmm. de debating that a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, but with regard to Russian lips, it's a beautiful outcome for mm -hmm. the right person. Mm -hmm. But everybody, most people, are not the right person. So for what Russian kind lips. of lips do you need to do that? Are they this taking is, like certain people and then putting it all over Instagram? Like, what kind of lips do you need for that? Or? No. So without getting too technical, in the lips there are things called tubercles, which mm -hmm. are these little like pockets of um, of tissue that mm -hmm. we fill when we're yeah. filling the lip, right? Mm -hmm. And where your tubercle is located is an indicator for whether you can have a Russian lip or not. Mm -hmm. Some folks have two tubercles in their top lip and some have three. Mm -hmm. So essentially one two, like each of those two would be under your cupid's bow, mm -hmm. um, or on either side rather of the cupid's bow. And then the third, for folks who have a third, is right in the middle. Mm -hmm. If you have that middle tubercle, you're not a good candidate for Russian lips mm -hmm. because typically the middle of the lip uh, tucks down or points downward mm -hmm. and trying to reshape that would be weird. It doesn't give you that shape that Russian So how lips many tubercles do I have? You have three. God damn it! It's alright, it's fine. I look I like Thanks, guys. You have three on top and two on the bottom. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Um, let's see, what else should we talk about? Let's talk about um botched filler. How can these girls look in the mirror and be like, you know what? I think signs of botched filler. Like not adding more is not always the answer, guys. If you're starting to look lopsided, <laughs> stop. Stop adding it. Go to Sorrel. She's gonna be like, "Listen, baby, this is what we need to do to fix it." Because you're looking all what we had. <laughs> you're looking a little bit strange. Like I'll I'll tell them about my lips. I I had been feeling them for what three years, and I mean it just started migrating up and over, and I feel like a lot better now, and I feel like my profile looks a lot better, and I have less filler in my lips than I did before. A hundred percent. I mean, mm -hmm. geez, we probably we took a lot of filler out of my lips. Sure. Like it was a lot. Like. It was very painful. Took it like a jam. But apparently, Sorrel says, I do not numb like a normal person. It's not Sorrel's fault. Absolutely. Not. I do not numb like a normal person. I think it's my Irish heritage. Anyway, um, how can a girl look in the mirror and be like, okay, like, um, so what should they be looking for? Yeah, I think the lips are probably the easiest uh, to target in terms of like botched mm -hmm. filler, right? And also, lip filler has become the number one mm -hmm. uh, requested filler, I think, in the country. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing so, so much of that happening. Um, and exactly what you described, Mariah, is what folks should look for. If you're thick, if your skin is thickened, or you notice that you're puffy above your lip line, mm -hmm. uh, or below your lip line on the bottom, mm -hmm. um, those are signs of migration, and it's just going to continue to get worse if you continue filling, so you need to dissolve and start over. Yeah, if you think your lips are getting small, maybe they're not getting small. Your lip filler might be migrating, so you might want to get dissolved. And there's no... Listen... You were born lipless. If you gotta walk around for a couple weeks lipless, like you'll be all right. I survived it. You can survive it. Like you're gonna be fine. Um, if you want to get your lips done, like don't be scared. What other? I'm trying to think of like other things. Um, I have a suggestion slash personal story. So for me, I started getting filler from a board certified surgeon because when I was younger, mm -hmm. I was like, this guy's gonna know what he's doing. And so my suggestion for people who are looking to get filler or are maybe realizing that they don't like the filler they have to go to someone who specializes in injecting. And I think that was my biggest mistake is I just kept going back to the same board certified surgeon just be like, no, it's uneven. Or like, mm -hmm. I see some migrating. And like, he never suggested dissolving or starting over. It was just always putting more and more in. You know what's just so making it worse. fucking crazy that you say that because the person that did my boobs was doing my filler. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I felt like I had to keep going back. And I was just like, yo, I just put filler in. Like, why mm -hmm. do I feel like it's not you know, sticking, and, like, with Sorel, like, Sorel injected me, God, I mean, when we were redoing my lips, what, over 20 times, right? Absolutely. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a lot of sticking, but I feel like with my, with the old guy, and this is, like, 2018, I think, mm -hmm. not that guy was going to in 2019, he would put the filler in, and then I feel like he was just mushing it around with his thumbs, mm -hmm. and I'm, like, I feel like the way, the way Sorel did my lips, it's a lot more accurate, mm -hmm. and, 
but he was a board certified surgeon. Yeah. So I thought like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. But even the way that he did my under eyes and stuff like that, like the way that they're done now, I like it so much better. And to, I'm holding onto the mic, under eye filler. I love it so much. I really, mm -hmm. really, really love it. Okay, like all these creams, you know, concealer, what's that? I don't have to wear that. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, guys, you shouldn't invest in it. But under eye filler, please tell them the dangers of that. They need to go to somebody who specializes in under eye filler because it's such a delicate area, right? Absolutely. So before I get into the under, I just want to circle mm -hmm. back about the surgeons. We love plastic surgeons. Yeah, we However, do. However, finish that part. They focus on surgery. That's yeah, what they're they great do all day, every day. We are injection specialists. Breathe, sleep, injection. Yeah. Like wake up in the morning thinking about injections, go mm -hmm. to bed, mm -hmm. right? And so yes, we definitely pay a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. We give a lot of effort well, to making sure that we're When you're constantly probably going to like the seminars and stuff because techniques all are all mm -hmm. techniques are always improving. Yeah, Absolutely. like these. He did great. He did great on these babies right here. Okay, mm -hmm. he really did. Mm -hmm. I'm super happy. However. I like how Sorrel did my lips better, you know? It's like, exactly. it's like, it's one specialty is his, and then the other, you know, her specialty, and... Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about it, they're doing, like, maybe a breast uh, console, and then mm -hmm. maybe, like, something else, and then, like, five other things. Then I feel like they have such eight. a wide array yeah. of things that they you're do, their eighth whereas client, when and then they're just doing filler. When you're going time. to an injection specialist, they specialize in filler exactly. and Botox and things like that. Whereas like a, you know, a, a plastic surgeon, they have so many other things that they're doing. Bristling and butt lifts, lipo, like mm -hmm. breast augmentation, breast lift, like all these other things. Like go to somebody who's just like with your skin, go to a skin specialist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like don't, don't go to a freaking, I'm going to say it. Don't go to massage envy. All right. Mm -hmm. And then be like, um, <laughs> yeah, you guys can't stand that. Yeah, don't go to a, a spa. It still has its place, but it's a spa. Facial. It's a spa facial. Like it's not gonna be. It's not gonna do the things that you can do at a basically like a what is it called a medical, medical aesthetic, aesthetic studio. studio. Yeah. yeah, like that's it's not that's not massage envy. Okay, you're not gonna walk out of massage envy and be like, yeah, my skin feels amazing. Like I mean, okay, they washed your face. Let's just call it what it is. They fucking washed your face. Massage, You'll get a good massage. You'll get a good massage, right? Product layering. But I've gotten some really bad massages there, but I feel like that's because I always tell them to go super rough, and I'm just like. Anyway, continue. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. We all but yeah under eye filler. Yeah, 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 under eye filler. So um, the under eyes, obviously, very delicate area, mm -hmm. and there's a lot that goes into the hollowing or the concerns. Um, there's a lot to consider. So under eye filler is not always the answer. When you go, you know, to your consultation, just be open to the suggestion. Sometimes folks that come in for under eye concerns need cheek filler. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need PRP under the eyes, not mm -hmm. filler. Sometimes they need to see an allergist and not mm -hmm. get yeah. filler. Like there's a lot of, sometimes they need a blepharoplasty. They actually need plastic surgery because mm -hmm. filler's not going to fix whatever the issue is. Because they get like pockets, right? Yeah. Like, so oh, those puffy pockets. Yeah, you can get, so filler, let's think about what filler is. It's this water loving substance, mm -hmm. right? These molecules are HA, hyaluronic mm -hmm. acid, and they draw water into them from the surrounding tissue. So that's filler anywhere. That's mm -hmm. the reason why like filler is going to swell when you put it in your lips, even in the cheeks, it'll swell a little bit because it's drawing the water in. Well, under the eye, the skin is super thin, right? So, really so it draws well. water in and it can get lumpy. So when you go for under eye filler, understand that a, a conscientious injector will underfill you. Mm -hmm. And you won't walk away feeling like looking super flush under there because it needs space and time mm -hmm. to expand and then settle again. So I have a question about that actually. So I had gotten my under eyes done in like December, right? And I, I had gone back for something like two weeks later, I was talking to them or something. And I was like, I feel like I look puffier. And he told me, he was like, well, sometimes it takes about two months for that to, so is that true? Totally true. Okay. I don't usually touch anybody up less than four weeks after the initial. Yeah, I just wanted his opinion. I was like, hey, I feel like I look puffier. And he was like, it takes time to settle that skin is so delicate. Like, Absolutely. you're not, but under eye filler can usually last longer though, right? Easily a year and a half. Yeah. Years. Okay. Yeah. Once you're like completely filled. Okay, awesome. And then I'm trying to think if we've got anything. Um, oh, should we talk about the amounts of filler? Because I feel like people. I mean, we kind of already hit on that, like with like lips and things like that. Um, how much is there? There's how much in a, in a syringe? One fifth of a teaspoon. So mm -hmm. think about the size of a blueberry. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so guys, don't freak out, but also don't go in there trying to stick like eight syringes in your face, okay? You need to listen to the mm-hmm. experts, okay? Because just because you want the internet doesn't make you a fucking expert, okay? You're not, all right? Just like I'm not an expert in most of the things I talk about, but I, you know, give you that disclaimer. Um, what else was <laughs> I going to, I was going to ask you guys, so, you know, if you want to dissolve, dissolve, get your shit done right, and then, oh, let's talk about that program, the monthly program. I wanted to talk about that because, um... We could talk about how they, they get a discount on their filler and stuff like that. Yes. Guys, I don't even work here, but I just love this program. <laughs> and I, I do. I freaking love it. I sound like I'm selling it, and I'm not. I love it. Because for me, this is my thing. It's self-love. I go get a facial every month. Mm-hmm. like, And then you guys want to explain how it works? Yeah, so we're a medical aesthetic studio that has a membership program. The main, or the main membership that most people get uh, is the elite membership, so that gets you a complimentary signature facial or level one chemical peel every month. They're good maintenance treatments. We can obviously elevate them to hydrofacials, stronger peels, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, but you also get complimentary B12 shots every single week. Mm-hmm. And then literally anything within our walls. So there's some sort of discount for our members. So we've got the laser resurfacing, mm-hmm. the halo, but we call it the, uh, the laser resurfacing. And then we also have the photofacial, the BBL, um, microneedling, um, filler, Botox, and laser skincare, hair laser hair removal. Thank you. Yeah. So and oh, so also, this counts on all of that. Is that guys, membership? I'm having a Botox party yeah. on March 18th, I believe. So if you guys want to come to my Botox party here in the DMV, do you guys want to tell them how that works? So yes. basically, so discounts. you come through to the Botox party, and I believe there's a small discount that is uh, imparted for attendees. But definitely, mm-hmm. you, Mariah, will get. Uh, some people tax for free. Yeah, so you assholes better show up to my Botox party, and I mean that. <laughs> but don't show up, you need an appointment, so you have to contact <laughs> Yeah, you gotta first. hit me up and be like, hey girl, I wanna go to your Botox party. Yeah, it's right, like a it's birthday cool, party. Yeah. You don't just show up without telling somebody you're gonna be there. You better RSVP. But yeah, then you come into the studio, we have drinks, we have food, it's a really fun environment. Mm-hmm. You can get full face assessments, you can get free uh, skin analysis, which you did before, mm-hmm. right? And it, it tells you all Listen, about your skin on the surface it's of the knee. the shit out of you, and that's exactly what you need, okay? Yes, and you can get Botox. And then also, if you're interested in other uh, injectables, we can make a plan and get you on the schedule for other things in the future. Yeah, and I honestly think that the girls really need, like, my photo facial, definitely going to be doing those. Like, mm-hmm. I love the photo facial. I think it's amazing. And then um, skincare products too, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can come, like, I'm wearing their tinted moisturizer today, guys, mm-hmm. and I'm not even wearing makeup. Like, and I, I love it. Yeah, yeah and love it. one other thing I wanted to say is that maybe not everybody knows, but anytime that you get Botox or filler, um, those companies have like their own loyalty programs. So you get points mm-hmm. on they those loyalty programs. Like we make sure to sign you up for that. So basically like anytime you get Botox, you use those, you get points and then you can redeem those points for cash value next time. So. It's just like you a lot can use of it on more photos. Yeah, you also it's like frequent flyer miles for your yeah. face. You know, yeah. it's amazing, but it's like literally every time you come. So mm-hmm. you might come and there's eighty dollars waiting for you. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Exactly. And count, like if we do chemical peels, that also counts for right. our skincare care. rewards program. I'm a member. I'm super excited about it. I'm up there all the time. I'm getting my B12 shots. I'm causing problems. Everyone knows that Mariah's in here. I can hear her. Yeah, and it's not even. It's honestly sad because I'm not even like I'm just my voice just carries and I'm also just partially deaf from the airports like because of the jets people are like oh she's loud and I'm like huh I'm partially deaf and then I make them feel bad um yeah I have terrible tinnitus sometimes my my hearing will just go like and then it'll drop out and then it'll come back but um yeah no my voice just carries but I know when I walk in I'm like I don't even need to tell Jess I'm here she can hear me but no they're amazing I really like them I like that they do so many different things they do facials they do filler like because for me, I've never gone somewhere like that, all where I can things. do facials, fillers, like laser hair removal, like all these other things in the same place. So I think it's super convenient. IV hydration. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What, Just what forget it? some IV hydration. Oh, my. When you're hungover. <sighs> you have I did and not know that, that and I constantly need IVs when I'm hungover. <laughs> do you want to, listen, do you want to be bougie for Instagram and go get your, you know, IV hydration thing on? Because I do. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. You know, like, follow, subscribe. Make sure you download this episode so that Michael has to wax his chest. um, Because that is still a thing that's going to happen. Do you guys want to go ahead and give your Instagrams? Yeah, I'm Jessica, the medical esthetician. My Instagram is jessicaesthetica underscore on Instagram.
Mm -hmm. And I'm Tanya, one of the nurse practitioners, and my Instagram is it's Tanya Anya all A's. And Sorel, the other nurse practitioner, my Instagram is the glow up genie. Ooh. Okay, and Mariah Malabuji, you guys know, you already know me. All right. Um, listen, girls, stay out the streets. Don't um go get your filler off Groupon. Um, what Please. else can we tell them? Don't go to some dude's basement and let him stick filler in your face or any other part of your body. Okay. Just, awesome. Don't let your hairdresser do your filler. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, and you know, just dissolve and start over, all right? Just we're wearing face masks anyway. What are you embarrassed about, girl? All right. Anyway, love you guys. Uh, bye.